This is the confession of a murderer who stalked young girls on the internet. Right, do you remember what you said to me in the cell? Uh, I killed yeah. somebody last night and I need to tell somebody from CID where the body is. Peter Chapman is a 33-year-old convicted rapist, a loner who was living rough. But this is who he pretended to be, a 17-year-old student available for a good time. His victim was Ashley Hall. She was a 17-year-old student. She fell for Chapman's lies. He kidnapped, raped and murdered her. I'd like to take this opportunity uh, to use Ashley's death to put a message out to the public about the dangers of using social networking sites. It's clear from our investigations that sexual predators are using these sites to meet, groom and target their next victims. And that's exactly what happened in the case uh, with Ashley. Peter Chapman has a long history of sex offences, but his online activities made a mockery of the sex offenders register that is meant to protect other people. A Sky News investigation has uncovered a stream of messages to young girls over three years. In this one, he's trying to arrange a meeting with a girl. It's not known if it went ahead. We also found messages dated the 19th and 20th of October last year looking for girls on Teesside. That was when he first contacted Ashley. Ashley Hall was described in court as a girl with low self-esteem, someone who would be flattered by any boy taking an interest in her. She was easy prey for Peter Chapman. We found these photos online. Chapman had used them to attract girls, but he had to find a way to persuade Ashley to get into the car with him, so he told her his father would pick her up. In a text found on Ashley's phone, he said, My dad's on his way, babe. He says, excuse the state of him. Lol, he's been at work. When Chapman arrived, Ashley was taken in. She texted back, he's here, babe. Her body was found behind a hedge near Sedgefield in County Durham the next day. Chapman had been arrested for motoring offences and confessed. Within 40 minutes of picking her up, he'd driven Ashley to a remote lay-by where he'd gagged, raped and murdered her. Them sort of people should be tagged and they should be kept an eye on all the time. They shouldn't be allowed out into society anyway. They shouldn't have been let out whatsoever. And for the people who are supposed to keep an eye on him, they should keep an eye on these sort of people. Chapman is now locked up again, but he had more than 3,000 online female friends. No one knows how many other young women put themselves in danger by agreeing to meet him.